Hey all, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games, and this is part four of the 2D platformer developer diary video, updating you on what's going on and how development is is going, and what I've done over this past couple of days. So I wrote out my little sheet here, so I'm just going to go through point to point. The uh, the last video I did, I think I, I was talking mainly about gameplay and and sort of the level design aspects of the game. So the next big thing that I, I needed to do really was a, was a level select screen. This was probably the most the next most uh, biggest task or complicated thing uh, because I already had three levels in the game, three, um, uh, three different geometries of levels that we can use. So I didn't want to add too many levels until I got this level selection process down. And then what I can do is I can sort of jiggle the levels about and I can start to create more. So I wanted to do that before, uh, I wanted to get this level selection screen done before I started create, creating more levels and more level geometry because later if I change the level select screen then uh, it could affect all of that work that I had done uh, building the levels. But I think I've got a good um, sort of good pattern or good flow down now so I can start to do more levels after this. So uh, the big question was how does this game make money? This is always, uh, as I've mentioned in one of my other videos and probably many videos, is how does your game make money? How does it monetize? You know, we, as game developers, uh, a lot of the time we, we fall into the a trap of I don't care about the game making money, I just want it to be fun and awesome. Great place to come from, but as I mentioned before as well, is if you're building a business, you've got to think about how your game is going to make money and understand uh, the best ways to to keep users happy and obviously at the same time allow this, this game to grow into something that can support your business like financially as well. So that was the big thing I was thinking about is have a fun game first, but also think about the monetization as well. Um, so... Anyway, so the way that I'm doing it here is let me let me just open up Unity and I'll quick play. Is this is the level select screen as it looks right now? Uh, I'll try and make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it more clearly. Hopefully, it will appear large on your screen. So this is the level select screen, and this comes before the uh, before the game screen. I think I had already shown you this a little bit before. Uh, the one that I had before was a sort of placeholder. So if I click on level one. There we go, it comes into here and there we go with level one. I'll just quickly play through this and hopefully I won't die. And I'll try to, there we go, level complete. Play next uh, next level, I'll update that soon. And then it goes back into the level select screen. So uh, these are the level buttons at the moment. This is gonna change, you know, the artwork is, uh, it needs to be updated of course. But once the player clicks on this one here, then they have to unlock level two. All right, and the currency in the game is coins at the moment. So you, you can collect free coins, uh, you can get bonus coins as, as time goes on is what I'm thinking. So unlock level two, unlock this level now for 100 coins, for example, uh, click yes, uh, level unlocked, congratulations, have fun. Okay, I will. And there we go, and you can see the padlock is removed, but the tick is not removed. If you click on the next level here, level three, you have to complete the previous level first. So you need to complete the previous level to unlock this level. So this level two here has to be finished for the player to go to level three. Now, one of the problems is that if you, in this game, because it's quite hard and we want it to be more open to a general audience, uh, not, not just hardcore players, is that I'm going to have a, uh, a button in the game that allows you to instantly finish the level, instantly be completed for you know X amount of coins, whatever that may be. So that's really where the currency comes from. And players can get free coins in the game by doing, say, a Facebook post or by TapJoy or something like this. So players don't have to pay if they don't want to. There are free ways to get this. So, um, uh, but the question is really, like, why, uh, why didn't I just go for unlocking levels, um, say, at, at, at any point, okay? So, for example, like, if I could, I could just go down here and uh, I could go to, like, level 6, and then I can just unlock that, or I could go to level four and I can just unlock unlock that. The reason is that I wanted a a journey, really, is I wanted a path, you know, to the player. I think when it's like oh level one, level two, I, I've reached level five, I've reached level ten. It's much more engaging for the player uh, as opposed to sort of just random like puzzles all over the place. Uh, and I think that's the pattern in most of most of games as well, and especially with our uh, Pop the Fruit game that we published on Amazon. 
that's doing pretty well and that's that has the same sort of pattern as well so uh, that's why I kind of opted for this this situation where you have to unlock the level but you have to unlock the previous level first as well so like here level three I can't I can't go into this if I do level two and I'll try to do this quickly uh, without dying again I should be able to do this quickly because I've had enough practice now there we go so next level and uh, yeah, level two is now complete, and then I can click on level three. Yes, I'll unlock it. Okay, I'll have fun. Um, so the other thing is as well that you can get free coins. So this is the other part here. If you click on get free coins, or if you don't have enough coins, it will take you to this screen where you can buy the currency or get free coins. Uh, and in the game, once you click on get free coins, then that will open the tap joy offer wall where you can download another game or watch a video, and then you get free coins that way as well. Or you can just straight up pay for, for the coin packs. So that's that's the way I'm doing it right at the moment. And these buttons down here, this four, five, six doesn't work at the moment. But that's the next step is really to start doing more level geometry um, and start to build up the levels and more interesting aspects to the levels as well. So um, more artwork I did. Yeah, I got this little coin going on here. Um, that was pretty simple. That's just a 16 by 16 uh, uh, Photoshop file. And then what I've done is I've just used the, the pencil brush to make very hard... Um, very hard edges like I showed you in the last video a little bit and then change that to a 16-bit uh, texture so that it appears very very clean all of the edges are very like old school 8-bit so the other thing is so layout include world best score thinking of including names in there so uh, as this game really is is one is about challenge uh, and getting through the levels like you know from level 1 to 50 or whatever it will be but the second thing is really about the time as well, and that's that's one of the things I found myself doing with this game, is playing it just to beat my own time over and over and over. So what I've got here is I've got the world's best score, um, my own name in there right now, and then my time. What I'm planning to do here is um, kind of put the best players, world bless, the world best players scores up here, and so that every single uh, level has the world's best player. Then when you click on the level, I might have a world's best player list or something like this. I'm thinking about how to get the top 10 players. I've got to think about the flow of how that's going to work. For example, uh, you click on level 2 and then there's a pop-up and then it says play. But above the play button, you've got a list of top 10 players. Or it could just be a button down here which just shows you the world's top 10 times or something like this. But I, I, really, want to, I really want to put a world's best time and the name of the person in here. Um as recognition for those players who, who really have like you know put a lot of time and effort into the game and I think that's that'll be a sort of big um, you know sort of bragging rights or reward for players who, who do that and I can say hey you know uh, the, the level five now has your name above it uh, so I think that'll be a cool one we'll see how that goes though but it's just just an early idea at the moment um, so added message planes as well. Uh, that's that's obviously what the message plane is. Just this like this coin pop up here, or uh, as I just showed you before, like unlock this level or unlock the previous level. So the um, like this one here, get more coins. And this is pretty simple. I'll just quickly show you the geometry. Um, for those of you who are using Unity or perhaps other game developers, might find this pretty useful. So I'll just get rid of this. Uh, get more coins plane deactivate that I'm just gonna go let's say the level unlock message just quickly activate this one and I'll just zoom in here quickly and all you can see is this is just this is just a plane with some geometry on it at the side to get these these white borders and uh, then the button at the bottom so whenever a user taps on this okay I will it calls this it's called in this script here the uh, 2d platformer main game script and then all of the uh, the button taps are handled here inside of update. So whenever a user taps on, say, uh, the cancel unlock, uh, cancel unlock level text, that's if they don't want to unlock the level and they click the cancel button, then it'll go uh, unlock message plane set active recursively false, which just basically deactivates it and just just closes it down. And then whenever someone taps on it again, it will pop up. So it's pretty easy to do that. Also in the scripts right now, what we've got, uh, let me know if you're interested in how this flow kind of works because I, I don't want to like, explain it right now in this video. Um, my, my head needs to be a little bit more awake to do this uh, fluently. But if you're interested in how this works uh, in more detail, 
let me know uh, in the comments. Basically, what it does is it checks if the previous level was unlocked already, or uh, sorry, it checks if uh, if you tap in on level two, then it will check if one is level one completed, yes or no. If it's not completed, then it will pop up and say, "Hey, you need to complete level this first, this previous level first. And then, if it's already completed and this level two is not unlocked, then it will show the pop up saying, "Hey, you've not unlocked this level. Do you want to unlock this level for X amount of coins?" So that's basically what this script does right here. 